again. Okay. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Welcome to Let's Play Amnesia, Justine. It's the DLC for Amnesia. Uh, this time I'm accompanied by another one of the civility voice actors. Uh, one who's a little more talkative, but he also jumps at Left 4 Dead. Everyone say, yeah. hi to, eh, say hi to Dan, everybody. Hi, YouTube land. How are you? <laughs> uh, we have so much fun tonight. Yeah, we actually already made a mistake here. Uh, the last 45 minutes or so was one big mistake. I didn't have the right mic in, and the quality was crap, and I couldn't be heard. And you killed an innocent person. <laughs> that, too, and I intend to resolve that correctly this time. Oh, uh, we'll tell you when that happens. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah, he'll rub it in. Trust me. <laughs> and without a without a do, let's get going. I know the first area, so so I know the first area. And uh, oh, you know what? Because of this restart, people didn't get to hear about my Jeepers Creeper vagina joke there. Yes. Watch the right. Watch the right. Through the door. There. Uh, yeah, I kind of do. See oh, that I did see him. Yes. Yeah, he kind of scurried off to the right for a second. Yeah, he right? he was there, and then he. I'm trying to look down at him. I think he's still there. Yeah, there he goes. He's walking away. Well, maybe it's not a he. It looked like it had a dong. I'm gonna say it's a he. <laughs> Why are you looking at his dong? Because it's hanging out for the world to see. <laughs> it's like watching. Oh god, don't remind me of that. <laughs> what? I think I just shook the padlock off. I'm I'm fairly fairly certain I did. I'll have to rewatch it, but I'm fairly damn sure it fell off. Okay, but uh, yeah, we've had these phonographs to guide us from. Uh, it doesn't say who, but I'm assuming that it's me, and I'm assuming it's Justine Florabel, and I'm assuming that's who I am. So it's a female oh. voice. Yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming it's me. Hey, bro. <laughs> yeah, that makes me think. This is a voice from the past. I'm assuming it's me. And since this is amnesia with the amnesia drink, I'm assuming it's all me. <laughs> it's all about you, isn't it? Oh yeah. Well, it just said it's a study of human psyche, psyche specifically mine. So hey. Mm -hmm. see the little friend. Not only the past, but to figure out what elements are important. Please move in. Go on. Move into the next chamber. They can all be saved. There is always a way. Which is something I will take note of when I try to save this guy this time. Oh, right. The lantern, which there is no oil for in the world. Except for later. I'm assuming there must be some later, but for the first part, at least, I didn't find any. And we'll see Mr. Dongle No Pants Wild Wild West neck to jewelry again soon enough. It's good to know. Oh yeah, like I said, I saw him that one time. You didn't see him, I don't know what. Oh shit, look! Uh, so... Did rat? you see him? I think that was a rat, wasn't it? No, oh, it was the that? guy! You didn't see him through the window there? I saw something move. I d wasn't sure what it was. Oh jeez, you need to see that. Oh, yeah, here's the ladder which I stick into who knows where. Uh, I'm not we, We're not sure where she keeps the ladder, and we don't really want to know where. Well, you don't. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you are. Oh, yeah. Okay, last time I came here... Oh, shit. Okay, last time I was in here, I went to that cell, Mr. No pants dongle jewelry guy showed up. There's the music. That's the music I've been hearing. Uh -oh. Hello. Listen. Well, you can't hear it. Listen. Hello. God, no. Hey! Hey! Listen! That makes me want to throw things. Look, there he is. Oh, I see him, I see him, I fucking see him. Look at him go! He's in here, he's in the cell! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wouldn't it be, she's in here, she's in the cell? Oh, whatever. Whatever gender. 
It's a woman, you can tell from the jumping. Listen to his footsteps. Okay, I think that's the sound of him leaving. I heard that last time. I don't know where he went. There were no doors that way. Maybe he can walk through walls. I don't know. I forgot to stop the timer, so we're going to have to guess here. What would you say? It's It's been over a minute, at least. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me stop the timer and find out real quick. Okay, so we got ten minutes. Uh, okay, let's get rolling. Now that Mr. Penis Wild West Jewelry is gone... He's auditioning for uh, Dr. Manhattan and Watchmen. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna close this, because if he comes... I'm not sure he comes back, but I'm not gonna take the chance that he does. Good idea. And if he does, I'll at least have a little forewarning. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure they don't work doors very well, if at all. Oh, did I read that note? Or did I just pick it up and put it away? Or did I, I even touch think, it? I don't think you read it. Oh, so it's still laying back there. Okay, I'll go get it in a second. Yeah. Uh, well, what are you gonna do now? We've got this oh. bottle. I it hear, doesn't do anything. I'm hearing the, the symphony again with the, uh, violin. the violin. Yeah, from... Well, I'm not really sure who this guy was. Aloy... Uh, Malo de Vigny, it said, was the, uh... concerto guy when we got to the next area. So I'm not sure what this Aloy guy does. Let me pick this up real quick. There he is. Uh, salutation, Inspector Moreau of the Serrate. Uh, okay, we apologize for this last time, but we're gonna butcher French here throughout this <laughs> rest of the... As so you, French are sorry. Yes. As you very well know, the chief of police in Kali has turned down my request to pursue Justine Florbell for stealing my son away ever since the affair started. Aloy, my son, has forsaken his duties to his family and failed to pursue his career. Since the, uh, since the law seems unable to find a crime within the realm of Mademoiselle Justine's actions, I will ask you to receive Dr. Victor Fournier later this week. He's a respectable... Okay. This word I skipped. An expert in the human psyche and believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. He believes to b diagnose her as an hysteric. Which again sounds off to me. It would prove you an example to... Uh, it, would it, pro it would provide you an ample excuse to have her locked up. I trust you and your agency will not turn us down. Uh, Cord Lamont, Cord Lamont, Lucien Racine. So apparently you're a crazy person. Yeah, from what I'm gathering, she's a whore. And a crazy person. That too. Um, there's a guy right to the here. Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would be Hi. Now he and I did not have a s had did not have a good uh, <laughs> working relationship still, last time. He's still mad at you about that, I'm sure. Okay, that didn't happen last time. What was that? I don't know. I heard a clock or something. Okay, this hole in the floor, this has got to be something. But can you lift it up? But I wasn't able to move it last time. Last time, I just kind of messed with the switch, and uh, that thing no. that thing dangling over him did not oblige me very well. <laughs> so, it, a it ladder comes down from it. there. It wasn't on purpose, it just didn't work out so well. And there's a Bible in here. Which is obviously very useful. Yeah, and <laughs> a guy giving the Lord, saying the Lord's Prayer. Uh, Throw the book at him. I don't know. I've been beaten over with the Bible before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Not looking. I'm not okay. seeing anything obviously useful, though. The guy's on the yeah. other side of a bar. I have to lower that thing to lower the trap. Oh, yeah, this. Listen, tennis cat. Tennis match. I can hear it. Um. Mild wait. applause. Okay. Oh, never mind, that's the racket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't think it's the enemy useful. Um, just eat my love. No, I'm not as talented as Molo or strong as Basile, but I'm certain my love is truer. Do not... Do my... Do not my scars tell you so. I will continue to cut myself. Still makes my spine cringe, even though I read it last time, as long as it yeah. pleases you. I would even kill Basile if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the bromide? I don't even know what that is. Poor Justine, I will help. Just ask me to help. Aloy. Uh. Forgive me. It's, I feel bad for that guy. I'm cutting my wrists for the woman I love. Shit. Find someone else, dude. It's not worth it. I am so sorry. Forgive me. I don't think there's anything in that. Yeah, I'm looking for anything that might be used to get that guy out of there. But I can't. I've got the broken ladder, which might help me descend down there, but I can't get this open. If you can find something to open that, maybe, yeah. instead of trying to open the lock. Yeah. we got about five minutes to try and figure this out. 
Okay. Okay, so if I if I push down on that switch, it brings that down, but at the same time, it kills him. Five. Are the cells numbered? I didn't even notice that. They are numbered. Uh, can you bring it down only partially? And I don't know if that'll help. You know what? I wonder... Maybe I can... Maybe it's just the simplest solution. Hmm. Oh. I need more stacks. Oh, that is really simple. Uh, still not... Uh, with the ladder just help a little. At all? Yeah, because I still had this last time. Yeah. It lit up when I tried to... Hmm. Maybe it's just because uh, I'm, right. I'm guessing I'm not high enough. But I'm going to keep trying. Yeah, just keep stacking. Yeah, I'm going to need one more box to get up and then one more to stack myself just under the thing. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any more boxes, so I'm going to have to use a barrel. Anyone there? Yeah, I'm here, but I'm... I I'd rather leave him down here than kill him. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I'd rather be left alone in the middle of nowhere, safe, locked up in a cell, than dead. And have big thing from the ceiling bludgeon you. Impale me. Yes. Or Bl impale. Im bludgeon. I uh, my bad. Am I on it? Can I not get on the top of this barrel? What's going on? Uh, the barrel doesn't love me. Apparently not. There we go. Oh. Hey there! Uh, now you to that. Gotcha! Ha ha! Suck it! Suck it. Who are you okay. telling to suck it? The death trap. <laughs> the, the murder trap, I guess. Okay, last time I came through here, I started hearing weird noise. Like that. I don't know what the noises are supposed to be, but... So, is the guy... I guess the guy's just chilling there. Yeah. Still. Like I said, I'd rather just... But he's alive! I'd rather. Is that behind me? What is that noise? I don't know. Couldn't say. I, was, I wasn't able to figure this out last time, either. And the music's just so eerie. I mean, this drop here, I did not want to drop. I sat here for a minute, not wanting to drop. And this time, I'm pretty sure it's safe. Uh, well, we'll find out. And I still find myself staring at it. <laughs> Not Do wanting it. to go. Uh, jump, you pansy. Jump. Shut up. Don't judge me. I judge you. Ow. I knew it was going to happen beforehand. Uh, is there more to this? Is there something I can do with this? There's no cylinder in the photograph. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Is there something to that? Because last time we just kind of wandered off and went somewhere new. I don't know. Wait, I can kind of see something. Hey, anything in there? No? Okay. No one loves you. You're adopted. I can live with that. <laughs> um, pretty sure I can't move this. I'm gonna try it anyway. I didn't. I didn't even dick with it last time. It will not budge. Nah, no surprise there. Uh, let's go ahead and read this last note before we call it a day. Episode one went a lot further this time. This was like episode three yeah. last time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. Travesty at the. Oh, this one. Many Parisians, uh, people of Paris, 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 I'm pretty sure I pronounced it wrong, had gathered that last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtuoso Malo de Vigny. Malo de Vigny, I'm not sure how to say it. I'm going to call him Malo. It was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by uh, fellow composer George Bizet, but the evening took an unexpected turn. Young Malo de Vigny turned up visibly intoxicated. His violin cried as the bow was jerked across the strings. Yeah, that's not insinuating anything. <laughs> the audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song La Rose de La Rose La, La Vie. I'm not sure. The, apologize, France. <laughs> the stress apparently got the best of young of the young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. I would laugh if I ever saw that. Mademoiselle <laughs> Justine Florabel Florabel. I keep saying Flora, but there's no. Who is a who's according to rumors romantically involved with Monsieur de Vigny, um, uh, looked 
quite amused by the event and had her had two of her friends, Basil Giro and Aloy Racine, Rash uh, carry him off stage. The evening was saved by other musicians at the conservatory who were able to perform a most delightful impromptu concerto in Malo de Vigny's absence. The audience showered their saviors with praise and calls for an encore, who ordered with spectacular pieces by both Offenbach and Chopin. And uh, we'll play this next piece uh, next time on Let's Play Amnesia, Justine. I have been Rosie the Red, and he has been Dan, and have a wonderful evening.